guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome my name is Cydia so today I'm gonna to talk about how I got my hair color like this I know I'm so sorry I'm so so sorry I tried to record doing this video I did this here like five times I started off with 613 hair and I got this here from the store hair company I think it's 20 or 222 I'm not sure I don't remember exactly because it's been like what well, maybe I get this here I think it's been almost three or three weeks or four weeks since I got this here so I really don't remember um, check the description bar for all the information on this here and also there's gonna be a coupon code um, With my name. I think it's gonna be on the screen or in the description bar But I just wanted to tell you guys how I got this look I have a few clips I'll be inserting for you guys to see to be honest. This was like an headache Straight up was an headache doing this here um, there's a specific color that I was going for and knowing me Yeah, I always it doesn't matter what I'm not gonna stop until I get that color so I did this here, like this color like five times, like literally five times. And I use Beauty Supply hair color and I use um drugstore hair color and then I use like I had to use um cos um professional hair color. So I first went in, I'm gonna sh show in clips where I went in and show um the different results when I use the different products. Um so I made the wig off camera and it's three bundles and a frontal. Anyway, I want to show you guys how I protect the lace when I was coloring the hair. And I use my got to be glue and I spread out all of the lace and then I use a blow dryer to make that dry. Um you can use just a free spray. That's easier and it takes less time to dry because the got to be glue took like a long time to dry. Okay, so these are the colors I used the first time and I use 9A which would be for my roots and then the 7A would give some dimension and then the 9AA and the 9AN would give different shade of blonde. You can see that I use it on the 613 here. The next clip gonna show you the result of what happened. It literally didn't do anything. First of all, the 4A made my roots purple. It was supposed to be like a light brown, like a light ash brown. So the rest of the color that I used, so the 7AA and the 9AA and the 9AN, just pretty much toned the yellow out of the hair. It didn't do anything else to it. So I'm like, okay, um, what? <laughs> like, I was so mad. I was so mad. I was like, what the hell? But I figured it's because I used a 20 volume with it. Um, There's going to be more clips where I was talking about all the mistakes than what I did wrong. So you guys can learn from me. In the next clip, I went ahead and I used Wella T27 and um T15 along with Clairol air color in 6g and 8gn which 6g meaning six um like light i think it's a natural blonde and then 8g meaning i think it, that was um it's a light gold neutral blonde um so yeah i used that and then i used on my roots um ion permanent cream color in medium ash brown and i did that you know i'm going to show you the the technique of how i was coloring the hair and how i put the placement for all these colors so they could blend nicely together okay so for the technique that i used i put the color on the roots first then i used my fingers to blend it then i um alternate among all three colors that i was using and then i blend the, the root color and the whatever color i'm using but instead of having a roots then colors you understand what i mean so right so the first row i would put one color and then the second row i'll put another color and sometimes i'll weave some colors just to give some more dimension and yeah that's what i did all throughout that here and but it didn't come out the way i was looking for again like i finished doing everything as you guys can see i finished to the top where weave and all that thing and it didn't come out to what i was looking for and this was the result <laughs> after i did that i don't know what happened i still was using a 20 volume at this point i think so i guess that's the reason why i didn't go with the color that i like and at this point i was like okay i'm not spending so much more money on on this um i went to walmart and i got um the revlon silk color i don't remember the exact name but i'll put pictures up and i got dark ash blonde medium ash blonde and this was the result really like the result however it wasn't the color i was going for i wanted a more golden like a beige with a little bit more golden not so ash because i feel like everybody 
thinks that dark skin girls can only wear ash colors there's so many blonde shades out there you just have to find the right one that that's gonna suit your skin tones But in the end, I end up using it Jaiko, um, Jaiko Lumi Shine Demi Permanent Color in, this was in 9NG, that's what I use. And then for the lighter pieces, I kept it, I just put conditioner in it and I kept it the color that it was that I used the Revlon color to. This was a complicated one. A few things I learned while doing this here, which I totally forgot, knowing that I just went to beauty school. That's why you need to like keep up with your, you know, learning because you can just forget stuff. So one thing is when using, when doing blonde colors or any sort of color and already lightened here, which is 630 here, um, use, it's better to use a demi-permanent color. Demi permanent color with a five volume or a ten volume because when you're using a you only want to deposit the color you don't want it to lift you understand what I mean because the color, the hair is already light and you don't want that already if you're using like black hair and you want it to light that means you want it to lift meaning get light plus deposit whatever color you want so then you're going with like a thirty volume or twenty volume right but for this is already light so what you want to do is go in with a 10 volume and a demi permanent color because we only want to deposit using a 10 volume or a 5 volume um developer will only deposit the color onto the hair it won't lift it so i was using which i totally forgot in the first one when i was using the salon I saw, oh, is it salon or soul i don't remember i'm gonna put clips of the videos as i said at uh, the first time when i was doing it I was using a 20, 20 volume um, developer and I was like why the color wasn't taken it wasn't taken whatsoever it didn't and then later on I was like oh shit I should have used a 20 volume uh, 5 volume with it or use a demi permanent color right so um, that's the reason the color wasn't taken and that's the reason why I had to do it twice I did another video on um another blonde hair like i did above i'll be i definitely recorded that one so i have that video to show you guys how i got to achieve that color and i definitely i only did it twice only did it twice and it definitely came up the color i was looking for because i used a, a 10 volume um when i was doing it so yeah um be mindful of things like that when using when going in with a 613 here this color is so pretty i love it on my skin tone it's exactly what i was looking for and the technique that i use i use this is a multi-dimensional um blonde it doesn't it's not one color i don't know if you guys can tell but it has like numerous of shades of blonde on it i know you guys really really love this color and i wish i really wish that when i was recording everything was going well but as i said i did another video and um, knowing that I put so much chemical in this hair, it still feel good. It's all in the curls. It tangles a little bit, which I expect because it's already bleached. And then I went in five times with different, um, chemicals. So I understand, but it's so nice. I love it. So check out this over here company and it's really thick. I'm in three bundles and a front off. And yeah, I just wanted to just show you guys how I did this hair. Cause as I said, I used, um, Joyco. Lumi shined in 9 NG and then I used um I think I used Revlon colors Revlon color on my I think it was dark was it dark light I think it was a light brown ash I don't remember I'll put all the I'll to be honest I'll list everything I just wanted to get to see this but I hope you guys like this here because it's so nice I'm gonna re remember I'm gonna put a new video oh it's showing how I did it and yeah it probably don't come up the exact what exact shade because these things varies and also when using the demi permanent color and you're only depositing it's like toning so you have to be careful and to be honest I kept this kept on the color for like five minutes not even like I literally have to wash it you leave the the processing time when using demi permanent color is like five to 20 minutes depending on the shade that you're looking for the less time you leave it on the lighter the color the more time you leave it on the darker the color and i didn't want it to be dark because i already had like all different colors going on and i just wanted a little bit of shade like a little bit of 
golden like warm to it it was too ash for me and I was going for a more warm beige look so that's the reason why I went in with a 9 neutral gold so 9 NG mean neutral gold so it's like a little bit it's kind of toned down to a beige but then it still has a golden undertone to it so when I go in the light it looks a little bit more golden than how it looks like right now I have all my lights on me so yes you can see that those golden tones but yeah the processing time is between 5 and 20 minutes I left mine on for 5 minutes it all depends on what the color you're going for and yeah, I got my Joyco color at Cosmo Prof. I don't know if you guys have anybody that has a license can go in there and get it. This brand, the Clairol Soy Fourplex, um, this color, this brand, they make good color as well. They make good color. I've used this brand already on when I was doing my blonde hair. The only difference is I was using it on dark hair, so it did work. So if you're gonna use this, um this brand which they have a lot of different shades of blonde you probably can find the shade of blonde that I have right now but there's a lot of shade you can use it though just try and use a um, 10 volt well this says mix I would say 10 volume because it's already light here if you're using 316 3 um, 613 here then I'll say use a 10 volume with this but to be honest always do swatches you know after a while of going in going in with the same color and it wasn't working i said you know what let me just do test strands and see if the color works and then i start going so do a test strand see if it works and then after to to, to save your time because it's going to be very annoying to go in with this something and then after you realize it's not the color you want to have to go in again so do a test strand see if the color you, if the products are working and then you go ahead if this is what you like then you go ahead and do the whole entire wig or whatever you do it but yeah, um, to save money and save time, because I spent like almost $150 on this hair color. But the good thing is it came out exactly what I like it and it fit my skin tone and I really, really love it. I think blonde is me. I think, I wish I could get this color on my relax here, but I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to, I might try, but no, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to do it. I pray to God I don't do it. But yeah, um, yeah, hope you guys like this video. Hope you like it with my hair. And if you saw, if you have any questions regarding hair coloring or anything, leave it in the comment bar and I'll answer it and tell you guys. Um, but yeah, um, so take care guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.